gymnastics and flying to the moon have in common? It's really important to stick the landing. That's why scientist Adele Luda is helping lunar landers do it right. Check it out. Landing a human being on the surface of the moon is one of humanity's greatest achievements. Plus, it's cool they put a little car up there. Look at it go. Now, NASA is planning sending humans back to the moon. And we're gonna need some fresh gear. To find out more, I'm gonna meet physicist Adele Luda, who was working on NASA's Artemis missions, where humans will return to the surface of the moon for the first time in over 50 years. I love taking on hard problems, especially ones that we maybe haven't done before as a society. I love working on teams where we're actually finding solutions to those problems. Adele's job is making sure the next generation of spacesuits work seamlessly with the new lunar landers. And today, she's showing me how scientists and engineers use design to help keep astronauts safe. So what is the goal for this lunar lander? The goal for the lunar lander is to take us back to the moon. And eventually, the plan is to build a full infrastructure. So we'll have cars, communication, solar panels, and then even a lunar habitat. This is a mock-up. This isn't the real thing. This is a low-fidelity mock-up, but when we go inside, it's going to be the same size, dimension-wise, as what will actually be designed for the surface of the moon. And so by building early mock-ups and using VR, we can move things around as the design develops over time. Inside the mock-up capsule is the flight deck area, where astronauts get information from a series of screens, as well as pilot the capsule as it docks or lands. And you'll see that while we can't do no switches, we're minimizing it compared to what was done in Apollo. So the goal is to make it obviously as easy to use as possible. Absolutely, there's a lot of human factors testing that goes into the design. So we have different types of spacesuits. We have IVA spacesuits, which are spacesuits that are traditionally worn only inside the vehicle. And then we have EVA spacesuits, which are meant to go outside the vehicle. EVA is extravehicular activity. So you'll see those big white suits that are hand walking along the space station or the space shuttle. Those are EVA suits. And we'll need the same thing, but updated suits to go on the surface of the moon. The suits live in the EVA systems area, and the team designing them includes a broad spectrum of different scientists and experts. We have doctors, engineers, scientists, managers, planners, everybody comes with their own experience. And that means that when we have a discussion, everybody can provide that experience to solving some of these really challenging problems. And for me, it was one of the main reasons I wanted to be a scientist. Well, that and my love of math. <laughs> So I hear your background is in physics. Why is it important to be a physicist? One of my roles is understanding the pressures. And when an astronaut is going to go out and do a spacewalk, that pressure is going to drop within the spacesuit. Mm -hmm. That means that we have nitrogen that's going to move around from their tissues and their blood. And that can result in a medical situation called decompression sickness. So part of my job is to make sure that we understand and track that decrease in pressure, both with the spacesuits and with the vehicle. Adele and her team don't just test their critical systems and mock-up capsules like this one. They also design with the help of the NASA VR lab. Virtual reality allows us to bring in pieces of equipment that aren't designed yet, like the spacesuits. We can also move things around much easier. Once I'm all geared up, I'm ready to explore the lunar lander, virtually. I'm going in. Oh, wow. So you can see there's a lot more detail that we can put into the virtual reality than we did in the lo-fi mock-up. That's where I was standing, that's where you were. See if you can see out a window. It's space. <laughs> You're seeing space. You ready to go outside? Yeah, let's do it. You're on the moon. No way, and this is the lander. Wait, Adele, look. I'm shaking my fist at the heavens. <laughs> All right, you have fun out here, but remember. Don't go into space without a spacesuit. Absolutely. Both this VR lab and the capsule are important tools for the scientists designing the future of space travel. And, as I've discovered, a wow. chill place to vibe. Yes. Please. Oh, okay, what's this? Oh, I've not seen this move before. What's this? Oh, okay. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. 
I'm the only host. And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.